Look what I've got, Liam. Oh, oh it's your old Wahoo. Why have you no. given me your old Wahoo? This is not an old Wahoo. This is the new Wahoo Roam, the second generation. It's your this old Wahoo. This one is my old Wahoo. It looks now, exactly the same. They are quite similar, aren't they? Yes. However, Wahoo say that this one, or is it, yeah, this one is packed full of new features. You've got a 64 color screen. How many colors do you reckon this one had? I believe I remember it was eight. Only eight. Oh, what have yeah. we been doing with ourselves with any eight colors? Time tables, how many more times is it? Eight. It's some, um, yeah, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. Um, so Austin. other than that, we've also got 32 gigabytes of memory compared to four gigabytes on this one. So many more times, I'm not doing the maths again. Um, the buttons, you'll also notice that these buttons down here, whereas they are, is that convex? On the yeah, new one? They're either concave or convex. They're concave on this one. So they've, they've got a trough on this one. And convex on these. Yes. So, so they're not gonna pick up dust and grime quite as much as uh, I, that is one thing i ones. found you you do end up with little sweat puddles in the old yeah. one anyway sticking with uh the headline features the yeah. the led kind of notification thing is still there exactly um, the same so this is uh upgraded to new gps hasn't it it has so this has got dual band gps which you may have seen on the recent 1040 garmin release solar so yeah, yeah long that name. one um, and this is the, so that's the only, only like the second cycling GPS that has the new GPS. And at £349.99, it is yeah. an expensive computer, but compared to that Garmin, this is one of the cheaper ways to get your hands on dual band GPS. So for comparison, yeah. the old one had an RRP of £299.99. Well, you can get some pretty good bargains on it at the moment. I just looked it up on the Wahoo website, 219.99 for the old one. Um, USB-C charging, whereas yes. micro USB. Finally. We love uh, that. Um, a few new things with this. Um, they've released their version of Climb Pro, which I don't know what they're calling it. Um, but it's basically um, a climbing feature where you get the um, kind of the elevation profile yes kind of where nice you are graph. on the climb you've got some like climb specific um details like you can set your power your heart rate but also the elevation and stuff like that current grade yeah so, so it uses all be, those nice new colors can be very good for getting you up a climb um but also if you're thinking oh that's too much money why is my old unit not getting this it is it's just not getting it just yet um so it is a feature that's coming uh, which we really, really like. So, yes, I've been trying it out over the weekend. Yeah, shall we, shall we deep dive on what these are like to use? Um, initial impressions, please. Well, your initial impression is that it should be really easy to set up if you've had a previous Wahoo computer. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't do this bit because it's released on the day of the release and it's not when we're filming this, it's not that day. Uh, so you'll be able to back up your old Wahoo computer and then as soon as you pair your new one you'll be able to click restore from a backup and it will take all your pages and stuff like that and put them straight onto the new computer rather than you having to rejig them all and choose what you want all over again because it can be a little bit of a time-consuming process. So out on the ride it um, behaves rather similarly to the old one as Funny you that. might imagine. Um, the screen is more detailed and it appears to be a bit brighter as well. And you might also notice that I think it sounds a bit different. Should we do a test? How do I, how do I turn test? it off using this one? Yeah, see, it's louder. It's very different. Or maybe I've just filled my, uh, my speakers up with mud or something. Anyway, new one's louder. Another improvement. Oh. One of the things that I actually do like with this new computer uh, that Wahoo, I believe, is kind of bringing out across its computer range is the route sharing feature. So if you turn up for a group ride um, and someone's forgotten to load the ride onto their head unit. This will and, be quite useful for us. And that's, yeah, that <laughs> happens all the time. Um, and it's gonna be one of those rides where you're taking loads of turns, you might get separated. Um, you can now e more easily share the route um, without having to kind of email a file link. Yes, so you open it up in your element 
app yeah, on your phone. So you've got the route already. And then you can broadcast this route to any nearby Wahoo users. Wahoo, while we're on a call about this computer, they said something like two kilometers, but we're, yeah. we're not so I think sure. that is ambitious. Yeah, that's going to be, because uh, they were mm. saying, oh, it works via Bluetooth. And mm. does Bluetooth broadcast two kilometers? Uh, like Maybe it drops, in... pretty, does a pretty long way, but I think, I think 2K is, yeah. in real life scenarios with buildings mm. and whatever else gets in the way. I think 2K is a bit yeah. ambitious. But also, so say if Jamie here rides about 10 minutes to come and meet me for the start near my house, and he gets there and he says, oh, I've forgotten the route, I can ping it to you and you can mm. start that route without having to start a new ride as well, yes. which is really, really helpful because then you don't have to go through like post-ride patching of files. I don't want to be cluttering up people's Strava's yeah, feeds, with, do I? With pre-race, no. post-race. Yeah. Anyway. Gets on my... So one of the improvements that have apparently been made that you're going to be testing out um, is to the mapping. Yes. So what's happening here? So with all those new colors and new memory, Wahoo has been able to install much more detailed maps. Mm. Not only that, but with the increased memory, 32 gigabytes on the new device, you can now have more areas. So I think we both found with the old one, um, I'd have my local area, and then if I went away, then I'd probably need to uninstall that one and reinstall Scotland or Wales or et cetera, mm. different regions, because there just wasn't the storage on the old one. Whereas with this, you can have a country's worth, yeah, at least. So that's a good thing. And then the more detail, it's also taken advantage of all those fancy colors. There should be something popping up on the screen now and you can compare what sort of thing you can expect from the maps. So I found that this one also, the new one also shows you your bike paths a lot easier. So that's this dark blue line. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're all bike paths. Yeah, Whereas which, on the old one, you, you don't get any of which, that. Which, let's be honest, in Bath is pitiful. <laughs> it, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. <laughs> Half a street, mm. great. Cheers. So another thing you'll notice is hopefully the location is more accurate. So with this dual band system, Wahoo say that you'll experience much greater accuracy, especially in places of with high rise buildings or woods, etc. I mean, we are inside um, and quite well protected mm. from any sort of GPS and it is it is picking me up very, very accurately. So when I loaded them up, I loaded them both up at the same time. They'd both been acquired GPS in the same place last time. And this one did say poor GPS, the new one. However, the old one didn't know where I was. Mm. It still said I was at home. So you I weren't. think that is an improvement. You were definitely here. I was, yeah. I really was. <laughs> maybe, maybe embodied, maybe not in mind. <laughs> So one thing that's quite instantly noticeable with this is that the form factor looks exactly the same to me. Maybe yeah. a little bit thicker, but... Well, I think you'd be hard pressed to tell that marginal. it's any thicker, but, and it will work with the old Rome mounts. So that's good. I've tried it on my own, in my old one. Can I have a moan now? Yeah, go on. One thing that really annoys me, and this is an exclusive to Wah uh, Wahoo, it's the same with my Garmin, is that you get massive forehead, bezels, chin on this. Mm. So all of that space is not screen. The actual screen is relatively tiny. It's the same on the Garmin. And now Wahoo does has it, have its um, LED light system, which they say that users love. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Especially um, now on the new version where your heart rate and your power comes up in a colored box, which changes as well. I think yeah. it means that the LEDs are less use. Yeah. But interestingly, when we were saying, when I was questioning Wahoo, why they can't make the screen size the full device, they were saying that, well, we've got the LEDs down that side, which means that they need to match it on that side, which with Wahoo, I'd rather <laughs> have an offset screen than have Wahoo written on it yeah. staring at me all day so there's that but the the one functional thing apart from the leds which i don't think had much um <laughs> is in the front they do have to pack all of the gps stuff in there yeah so your antennas up at the top to get the best signal 
And that's um, why it's better than your phone on your bars, really. My question was, why can it not be like my phone in that it, you know, the screen extends all the way up? But mm. if you have that kind of phone system, it does struggle in built up areas, whereas yeah, these are, you know, genuinely really quite good in built up areas. Um, so yeah, that's why you can't have a device for the multiple number of reasons that's actually all screen. Not yet. I Not look yet, forward to anyway. the day that we can. Yeah, because um, if you introduce this to the tech market, they'd <laughs> probably just laugh at it. Yeah. So, oh, um, but that's the same device from 2005. Yeah. So you said it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, I'm kind I'm, of. I'm debating that. Are you struggling? Do you want to take them both? Do you want to do some? Oh, oh, here we if go. If only we had some digital. Right tools. then, down here. God, this is exhilarating content. How thick is your? 0.665. Okay. There, same place. Oh, oh. it is thicker. 0. 0. 0.672. Wow. It's, the new one um, is thicker. A, a serious thing now. Tested. Is that thickness adding battery life? Um, no, no, okay. no. They cool. both get 17 hours, which is very good. Yeah, it's compared fine. to their competitors, um, and I think that is particularly impressive given the very similar form factor, new higher contrast screen, yeah. and more powerful stuff. But, but also, it is going to be using more battery. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the detail in the map, everything mm. like that just eats a bit more power, doesn't More processing it? power, and yeah, screen brightness is, it definitely looks brighter. The final feature that we just want to touch on, um, that's not actually here with the new device yet, but it is coming, is um, Super Sapiens integration. Yeah, this could be really cool. So, so it's a glucose sensor, is that the one that... Yeah, it's, it's that round thing. Yeah. Now, Team Nova Nordisk, who are a team of diabetics, um, they have had this integration with their cycling computers, I believe it was Wahoo's back in the day, mm -hmm. for quite a few years now. And it's only now that Super Sapiens has become a kind of a commercial product that there is a demand to have it on your head unit. Now, obviously, this yeah. is coming to the pros because... The UCI have banned it. Yeah, they? the UCI saw that and hit it with the band stick. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the pros won't have it, but if you want to monitor your um, fueling... It could be a really levels, good way of preventing yeah. bonks. If you bonk a lot, mm. then <laughs> this could be just the thing that you need. It's not going to eat for you, though, so... No. Basically, it will tell you to eat a lot more. Mm. So I'll be doing a long-term review, which you'll be able to read up on the Road CC website. I'm going to be fitting both of these to my Lauf Segler's handlebars and road bike's handlebars. But you can check out my Lauf Segler using this link. Where are you pointing? It's somewhere up there. I can't see it. Or down there. <laughs> Remember to like this video if you like it, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.